Hello, this is Pastor Miller from St. John's New Minden. Welcome to the children's message. I'm standing here in our yard next to our red delicious apple tree. Look at the beautiful fruit that's that's almost ready to eat. I keep trying one every few days to see if they're ripe and the last one I had was getting close. It wasn't quite ripe. And of course this reminds us of the story in the Bible where God put Adam in the Garden of Eden, remember we heard that last week, to work it and to keep it. And in that garden there was a fruit tree. And God said, you may eat from every tree of the garden except that one. There may be were hundreds, thousands, maybe millions of trees with good fruit. But God said that one tree, you must not eat of it. And in the day you eat of it, you will surely die. Well, then God made Eve for Adam, and no doubt they, they talked about that tree. Because one day when Eve was somewhere close to the tree, apparently, the, the devil, the, in the form of a serpent, began to tempt her and get her to doubt what God had to say. Did God really say you should not eat of any tree of the garden? Well, that was almost the opposite of what God said. He said you may eat from any tree of the garden except one. And he got Eve to think that, that she would be like God because she would know good and evil if she would eat from that tree. And Adam was right there with her. He didn't stop her. He, he should have thrown down himself in front of Eve and say, No, Eve, don't eat from it. Remember what God said. No, but Adam was quiet. He didn't do anything. And they both ate from that tree. And God was merciful to them. They didn't die immediately in their body died spiritually it separated them from God but God came after them that very day he came to them in the cool of the day and he began to give them promises he promised that someone would come born from the, the seed of the woman born from Eve's line one of her children or grandchildren great-grandchildren great-great-great-great-grandchildren however many generations and that one would crush the head of the devil we know that one is is Jesus, don't we? Who would come and give us victory from the devil. And in due time, after many years, Adam and Eve did die. But Jesus did come, and by his death on the cross, by his resurrection on the third day, by keeping all of God's requirements, Jesus has crushed the devil for us. And now the Bible tells us, it promises that, that in eternal life, we will get to eat the tree of life because there was another tree in that garden the garden of Eden, the tree of life and after Adam and Eve sinned God would not let them eat from that tree because he didn't want them to live forever in their broken and sinful mortal bodies but instead he has this wonderful plan where we will all be raised and we will come and live uh, in the new creation the new heavens and the new earth and we will eat from the tree of life the book of Revelation says it has new fruit every month maybe even a different kind of fruit every month and it says it's its leaves are for the healing of the nations wow all who believe in jesus and his cross the cross is really the new tree of life isn't it that's where we find life that will last forever so let's pray dear lord jesus we know that our first parents sinned and that we have that sin in us too and so we are mortal, we are subject to death. But we praise you, Lord Jesus, that you were lifted up on that other tree, the tree of the cross, to pay for our sins. And you rose again from the dead to give us eternal life, to crush the head of our enemy, the devil. And we trust, Lord Jesus, that you will bring us to that perfect place where we will eat forever of the tree of life. We love you, Jesus. We pray in your name. Man, well, let's try one of these and see if they're ripe yet. It's getting very, very close. God bless and keep you.